Hello there, welcome to another video from my channel. If you are new to this channel, I am Govardhanes Krishna. I am a software engineer by trade and I do make YouTube videos to try practice new things or something like that, you know. Okay, so it has been a while since I have reviewed any products and I happened to get very few things in the recent past. You know what, I still have few boxes that I got for Christmas and now I understand all those are like some impulse buy. Nonetheless, few weeks ago, I got this Fitbit Charge 3 from Walmart. Though I always prefer to purchase things online, this time I took a different route and I decided to walk into Walmart to pick it up. Did I say the word impulse buying a few minutes ago? Yes. And surprisingly, it was selling for a lesser price in Walmart than Amazon. I got it for $139. So this is my first fitness tracker and I have used this for a few weeks now to understand how it works and the basic operations. So I know something about it now. Initial impressions. It is super light and you will not feel like having anything on your hand. Very stylish, very trendy and I picked up the black color because you know I like a black a lot. It is not an eye catcher but at the same time it looks like a small bag and it is loaded with bunch of functionalities in it and of course it displays the time too you can tell someone the time you know what is the time what is the time it comes with two items in the box Fitbit charge 3 classic wristband both large and small and a proprietary charger and of course some paperwork it is swim proof wow that is a great word instead of the word waterproof 24 cross 7 heart rate, multi exercise modes, apps, notifications, and the best part, battery lasts up to 7 days. And I should say this I have been experiencing that I happen to charge this once for 6 days, which is very good. I have my friends with Apple Watch charging it on daily basis right next to the Apple phone and not for Fitbit. The first time configurations the initial configuration will be a little tough or kind of confusing. The first time you connect the charger with this, the feedback will be like the screen turns on for a few seconds and it will go off. I thought like I got a defective piece and I was in a panic for a minute saying that hold on, no. I will say, you should just leave it alone for 30 minutes of charge so that it gets more than its minimal level for the first time setup because the device should get charged for greater than 50% before it can be paired with your phone. After this, it will be a normal 4 digit authentication with your phone and it pairs up with your phone, that's it. Changing the bands. This is the easiest thing. First time, I do not know how to do this. After a few attempts, I learned this. Just press the button and pull. It's as easy as that. So, here comes the important question. Why did I get Fitbit version 3? There are many versions of Fitbit and the question I asked to myself before getting Fitbit Charge 3 is it should not look like a watch. I don't like watch. It should look like a band and I don't need all those fancy features like replying text to the tracker or attending calls from this hello hello no. It's strictly for tracking the health. Only thing is to track the health related activities. I was literally one step away from getting Fitbit Inspire HR which sells for around $100 and the only thing it doesn't have when compared to Charge 3 is the number of flows client. Yes, that's the only difference. A little more money for tracking the number of flows client. Yes, I'm in. So I purchased this. It has many sensors in it. Accelerometer, optical health rate monitor, blade of SpO2 sensor and NFC. So SpO2 sensor is the one which will track your sleep if you are not familiar with this. Here comes the important part, menus. The menus are arranged in two types here, the horizontal and the vertical. Vertical scroll menus gives out the info on resting heart rate, miles walked, calories burnt, floors climbed, while the horizontal scroll are the actual menus like exercise, timers, weather and settings. This also tells you how to relax. There are two modes for it, a 5 minute relax and a 2 minute relax. Guess what, when you are pissed off, you can just click it and relax for a few minutes. Until now, the tracker is doing great. It does the steps counter, the floors walk, distance, all those kind of important things. 
when you see these numbers at the end of the day, the kind of satisfaction you get, have I done these many things? That is all it matters. I experienced few instances in which the watch tells the sleep is tracked, but the same thing when I look at the application, it says the sleep is not tracked. I would say like I need to explore much on these, but the kind of content it gathers is very rich. For example, it tells you what is your awake time, up time, deep sleep time, disturbed sleep, so many factors it puts out, but it's all up to you to how to use it. So initially, when I was configuring this band, I was having a little hard time in finding where the button is because the button is not an actual button. It is just a kind of a notch which provides the functionality of the button and it will be a little tricky for the first time and then you will get to use it and whenever you press the button like you will get a feedback like a vibration level. So that's pretty much useful and this button gets pressed only in this specific angle. So if you want to press it when, when you have the watch in the hand, no, it will not work. So you should get used to it. So overall, this is a very good buy if you are looking into tracking your health and it does more for the price range. I'm going to do some deep dive on the way it tracks different parameters and it will be a great weekend project to study all these and I'm very interested in doing those. And if you like this video, please hit the like button and post your comments on what fitness tracker you use and how you use it and how it scores against this Fitbit Charge 3 so that like you know YouTube will put my video in front of many viewers and this will help me in growing my channel and the subscribers. Also please don't forget to subscribe my channel because I keep doing more YouTube videos like this you know. Thanks for watching. See you soon.